tree kangaroo. These adorable fluffy marsupials living up in the tree are, unsurprisingly, called tree kangaroos. They are excellent climbers, partially thanks to their strikingly long tail, which helps them with balancing. Seeing them go up a tree is a lot of fun. There are many species of these fluffy fellows. The one I'm drawing right now is Machi's tree kangaroo. Their home is the mountain forest of Papua New Guinea. But it's getting smaller and smaller. Deforestation has taken a big part of their habitat. That combined with the hunting for their meat and lovely chestnut coat has put them on the endangered species list. It would be such a shame if we lost these adorable tree living mammals. Just look at them. Poison dart frog. Found in Central and South America, poison dart frogs burst with color, but also with deadly toxins. These little guys come in many colors, like red-headed, yellow-bellied, golden, or strawberry. Their colors might not help them camouflage, but they do tell everyone around about their poisonous abilities. These frogs are also great parents. Unlike other amphibians, they put their offspring separately into small pools of water all over the forest. Then the father has to remember where all their children are and check if their pools didn't dry up or if they're even still there. Unfortunately, their numbers are going down as they lose their habitat to deforestation, pollution, climate change and exotic pet trade. Nonetheless, Poison dart frogs are wonderful animals and even better parents. Sertzi's Blue In my series, I'd like to include an animal that none of us will ever be able to see. Not because it lives in some remote area of the world, but because it no longer exists. Sertzi's blue was a beautiful butterfly living in the California sand dunes before its habitat was destroyed by development. It had a gorgeous ocean blue wing that sparkled in the sun. You know, I love learning about extinct animals, about their habitat, their lives and how they were lost to time. But it also makes me really sad getting to know these astonishing creatures just to realize that I will never have a chance to see them with my own two eyes, at least not the life that is.